Right there. This is going on Friday. <gasps> Kim Kardashian's bag, everyone, at Luxury Promise. This is what I've come in for. Known as the Hermes Marathon because it's eight hours for three days. <laughs> Welcome to a vlog. I have not vlogged since IVF in Dubai. <laughs> do, you to, do you want to share the drama that happened? What well, drama? I'm just being modest about it. How I was a hero, saved some man's life. So we're, we just went to our favourite restaurant. It's one of our favourites in London. It's called Dozo. It's a Japanese in South Kem. It's nothing special, but we love it. So we did the school run, or you did the school run. <laughs> and then went for an early lunch and um, I'm going to pick up a bag and I'm going to take it with me but we were walking and we had to have the camera with us, the laptop with us because you know you can't leave anything in the car I've got like my Chanel leather coat and um, I see this lady, you want to share? You say the story Alright, you didn't see this bit, I see this elderly lady and um, she looked in an absolute panic and like no offence to her but you know it's London it's very common to have like people kind of a bit crazy in the street so i was trying to work out is she crazy and you know it's just london or is something happened so i then i then heard her say can you help me she was asking loads of people for help and no one was helping her were they no and um so she really did look panicked and she said my husband has fallen over and it took him like we always laugh about him because it takes him like 20 seconds for anything to register and um i was so sad wasn't it she said he had parkinson's and he smashed all of his face and it's so cold today it was sad and um she was english and he was french and uh, she was speaking english to me and french to him and i was saying speak french to him because you know we were in, he went all in shock and i know from him that if he's like drinking or flapping he needs to speak his own language so yeah anyway now we're gonna go to luxury promise because they have sourced me a bag that i really want and you didn't charge this camera so how am i going to show them try on this okay hopefully it works um but yeah i'm going to get a new bag so before i go upstairs this has caught my eye that is amazing so sabrina hi do you want to show us what's happening on Friday, tomorrow? So, it's all happening. So we are going to have an amazing show with Hermes. It's known as the Hermes Marathon because it's eight hours for three days, basically 24 hours of live shows. Who's doing them? I'm doing one. Oh my God. And then we are taking it to Canada and then we're taking it to Singapore and we've got everything from like box Kelly's to box Birkin. Some of the things I'm going to see now yeah. is going to be in the show. 25 Birkins, pre love Brand new stuff as well, mini Kelly, scarves, homeware, belts, you name it. So seven hours. Seven hours. What time? English time. Starting at 6 p.m. every single day. Friday, English Saturday, time. Sunday. English time. So what's that in America? That like, will be... Like um, East Coast would mm, be... That's going to be like 2, 1 p.m. East Coast and early hours, 8 or 9, not like 10, 11 o'clock in West Coast. So they go on the website, 6 p.m. London time. Okay, let's show them what's going to be in it. Okay, so I've come to pick up my bag, but quick before the battery goes, what is inside? This is so major. Is my bag from a very special <gasps> Kim Kardashian. I can't believe it, Sabrina. So and it's suede. It's like the bag of the season. Why did she sell that? No, but seriously, why did she sell I that? Have that no is clue. that is stunning, yeah. and it's a twenty-five. She's crazy. It's because she's not got Kanye telling her what to do. That's a mistake. <laughs> yeah. Kim Kardashian's bag, everyone, at Luxury Promise. It says Kardashian closet inside. I said to <laughs> Sabrina, this has got like her DNA. I'm not even like that much of a Kardashian fan, but it's quite a moment. 
So these bags, aren't they the suede? Is that the bag of the year? It's literally, if you, like you were saying, it's everywhere. And I it's went to Rue Saint Honoré and all they had was suede on display. They're called Dublé, is that how yeah. you spell it? Dublé or Grizzly? Like that, um, and me and Sabrina got our suede last year, didn't we? And then this is another suede. Look, oh, quick before the battery goes. Right, this I've already seen in the pictures and it is, that is me. That is you. That is me that in a bag. That is you. When are these going on sale? This juice has got to keep forever. That I'm keeping forever. This is going on Friday. <gasps> so this will be in Friday's show? Yeah. But they had this in Rue Saint Honoré. And funny enough, red as well. With yeah, the colours of the Dublé is blue. And they did it a massive 35 as well. But they had all of this side in Rue Saint Honoré, yeah. Wow, that is that is me, that bag. Let's do a close-up before it runs out. <gasps> what colour is this? Is it blue uh, jean? Even, no, this will be turquoise. I think it might be turquoise, the official colour. It's so chic. Uh, so or, this is going to be for sale on... Uh, blue Talassa, oh. which is candy colour. It looks a bit more dull with the suede, which yeah. is why I like it. Okay, let me quickly show you the other bits. This is what I've come in for. So believe it or not, the box leather vintage Kellys have become so sought after. I always kept saying, oh, I'll get one of them later. I want to get this bag. I'll, I'll get one of them later. And it's just become so hard to find. So these babies here are so hard to find. I've never seen so many box Kellys. But more importantly, they're super immaculate. Like this one is from the 70s and it is so immaculate. My one from the 90s is more bashed up than this from me wearing it. So they're so immaculate. This is the rouge, which has been the color of the season. And it's just a classic every, every winter. And whilst everyone's thinking of their summer bags, top tip, I'm gonna be still looking out for winter bags and vice versa, because you get better deals. It's like best choice, because everyone's moved on to the summer. So there's the black with gold, 28 box. The rouge, 28 box. This, another one, exactly the same as mine. And then you've got this one in Palladium, which is so hard to come by Palladium. I think if I didn't have my new Kelly Palladium Noir, there would be no doubt that I would get this one. And I'm a big fan of the 32. Like this is literally my vintage bag that I'm using today in a 32. Um, so I'm gonna try them on and I'm gonna pick one because they're all roughly the same price, but I'm just so excited she's finally got them. And any that I don't pick, they're going to be in this Friday show, the big Hermes show. So this is what I asked for. I asked for a 28 because um, a lot of my 30, a lot of my vintage, a lot of my vintage ones are 32. And this is why I've had to wait so long because it's so hard to find this in a 28. So I do love that. Let me try another one. And you see this big scratch on the front. This is nothing, like you can't even really see it. But that doesn't bother me at all because I know I'm going to do worse damage. The Rouge, same size. I think this would be the winner for me, but I think because I've got my 28 in red, it's a bit close to home. But this, I'm telling you, is the most sensational chic bag. Look how immaculate that is. That will be in the Hermes show. And I do have a discount. If anyone wants to buy it before the show tomorrow, I think. I'll see if you're allowed. Exactly the same as mine. I think I'm going to go for this one. It's what I originally wanted. They're exactly the same. That one has more scratches and I'm going to take that one actually. Because, um... Yeah, that's the one that she sent me pictures of. So that's mine. So if anyone else wants a black box, 28 Kelly... There is one more available. It's the most chicest bag in my opinion. I absolutely love the box Kelly. Oh, sorry, out of breath. Um, and the older they are, the more beautiful the box is. Um, I just, I've just waited years for this. I'm so happy. So these are the two. Whoever gets the second box Kelly in twins with me, please let me know. I'm just so happy to, to have this. <gasps> Navy, oh my God. So this is one of the uh, by appointment rooms, by the way. I'm literally one of Luxury Promise's biggest customers from day one. So this is where you come, you can have chocolates, champagne. And I wanted to show you some of the other bags that are here. Wow, wow. <gasps> oh, that's my bag. That looks exactly like my bag, but brand new. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. 
and look they've got a shadow clutch and they've got a trench which is one of my favorite bags that i own never seen them have a, fr a trench before and then this is the shadow clutch how stunning is that they've got some really good things in it at the moment and that looks like green tortorel looks like new so definitely recommend coming here they have the most amazing things hi, hi. which one should i get that one what color is that Maybe. or that one I heard you up there from here. One's bigger than the other. <laughs> On the one that's not navy. No, it's because I thought it was 1985. Uh, I but I got M navy. confused with a W. You like navy? Yeah. Oh. Is that light okay? So I'm unboxing the bag, not that one. Um, I think you know which bag I chose. We're going to unbox the bag. I feel like when I'm in my, own, in my own space, I can concentrate a bit more. I was a bit all like, there were so many bags yesterday. And you know, it's so nice for me that I still get so excited. And um, we've just come back from Paris. I'm going to share that vlog on Sunday. And um, like they're my, and there's chocolate, so I just get it out of that bag. And I honestly was more excited about seeing all the vintage pieces. I can't help the way that I like, my heart skips a beat and the suede ones but it was funny that all the ones that they had sourced the suede bags were the ones that were in Rue Saint Honoré so suede suede is definitely going to be the leather to look out for it doesn't have to be Hermes but suede bags are it and that's not a trend prediction for me I don't believe in trend predictions unless they're two years in advance but just a little bit of handbag advice is about the suede bags uh, try and pick up one on the vintage market before that blows up. I'm so happy that I got this one. My suede one, my grizzly, double as they call it. Double, as they call it at Hermes, which is a made up name by the way. So, this is my bag. I'll show you because I know it's frustrating when I take talk, talk too long. Uh, we'll discuss it afterwards, prices and all things like this. So this is what I wanted sourced. And I think, I actually think it was longer than 18 months. Um, it's a... 1970s hence the dust bag and we put the i put the clochette and everything on yesterday but this is what i got from luxury promise yesterday they got a few of these in maybe like three years ago and they always seem to be one in the office so i would i wanted my brown one that you can see here i obviously had to save my money for my new ones and i had like a list of what i wanted even the chanel maxis and i always thought i'll get one of these later but that was silly of me i should have known better because one they have gone up in price considerably and i thought that it would be easier to get hold of and every time they had one come in it was a 32 and I love 32, the brown one is a 32. Let me show you the comparison. This is a 28 and a 32 vintage. And you can see the difference. I personally love the 32. I use it all the time. Um, and don't go too much on the small bags because one, it's not practical and two, the bags will, the, the trends will switch around. So it's nice to have a, a variety. Um, and the next bag that I want vintage, I actually want it in 32. So it was so difficult. I actually, what you don't know, I was actually there for over an hour looking on that sofa. I asked everyone in there which one I should get. Because um, they were just all so amazing. But I just thought, no, I'll stick with the one that I did order. A 28 box black Kelly with the full set, with the strap and everything. They're so hard to come by. And I have waited for so long. And this one is immaculate. So it's from, I love all the 90s ones. My red one, um, I'll show you the red one. That's from the 90s and I can see a slight difference in the leather. I would 100% buy a 90s one again. No like issue with me, I'll buy 90s. But I can see the difference. The older ones, the box leather is slightly different. Slightly less fragile is the best way to put it. It's box, it's still fragile. You're always gonna get a few scratches it's actually hard to find but there are scratches on this at the front but I guarantee that when I wear this 
I will create more scratches anyway and I love that. I love that about the suede. I love that about the box. I love the scratches and I love that worn effect and in 30 years after I've worn this so much I'm going to love how this looks. So not only is this rare and I decided to go with this one, they have another one. And I mean it when I say I would have picked up that Palladium Hardware one, like I've never seen a Palladium Hard one on the vintage market. But because I have this one, it was just silly to have this with Palladium. For me, you're, you're all going to think I'm mad, but for me these are totally different bags. I literally can't say that without laughing because you're going to be like, Clay, you're mad. But you know, I, I would consider myself a collector now and I think a lot of you watching would think that as well. This is very new, the new leather, it's Epson, it's got more of that sporty vibe. The Palladium is more of a sporty vibe. It's not vintage. Look at me trying to sell these two different bags to myself, but I do mean it, I really do. As a collector, I really do mean this. The box, it looks slightly smaller, don't you agree? But it's not. The box just has that Parisian old feel about it. And the gold gives it a completely different look. And for me, they're different. And what I always used to find is that whenever I would wear my huge vintage 90s gold jewellery, and I have a lot, I have a lot of 90s jewellery, I have a lot of 90s um, jackets with the big gold buttons. The only bag I had to go with that were my Chanel bags, and I was getting bored of using the same bag, or this. And it's too small most of the time. Like I wanted like a big day bag. The crop, the mix of the hardware would, would bother me when I used to wear this. I, I wanted to keep that vintage jacket for five, the vintage earrings and the vintage bag. I wanted to keep that vibe. So they're my reasons if you think I'm mad. So that's the new bag. Can't believe how long. Like, I've waited longer for this vintage bag than I have even this new super duper rare bag that I got new from Hermes that I love so much. But... My, as much as I love the new Hermes bags, I do, I wouldn't put so much effort and money into it, but my love for vintage is always, it's always been there, um, and I, I just, I think I've said enough, I said this was going to be like a two minute video, so everything is going to be linked, nothing is available on the website, but you can DM, I'm going to give you one of the girls emails, and Sabrina has agreed to give me a massive discount. She's agreed to give me £200 off for anyone with, that would like to buy the other one of this, the one with Palladium Hardware, the Rouge, and any other Kelly that they have. They also have a trench Birkin. And it's such a good price because it's not brand new like from the shop. But um, I'll put up a picture. I mean, that's mine. I love it so much. It's one of my top three bags. Um, I've never seen Trench on the pre-loved market. And it's like new, but it's not new. So it's an excellent price. And you're allowed the £200 off of that as well. So DM them, um, not DM them, email the email address that I'm going to provide for you. I will quote the discount code in the in the description box below and that's going to get you £200 off but it's not across everything because it's too, too big of a discount it's only going to work on the bags that you saw in the showroom yesterday or that Birkin Trench for those of you you've seen what Sabrina said it's the live show all weekend it's going to be their new massive live shows and um, it's one of the best selections of bags I've ever seen in this so many new bags as well it's going to be a good one um i'm going to be on the live show not the full seven hours but feel free to talk to me in the comments i'll be there in the first hour for sure if anyone wants to ask me anything in the comments about your purchases anything about this i'm happy to help in the comments below or on the live show i'll be there so um yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Any questions, let me know in the comments. Do follow me on Instagram and I'll be wearing this lots. Um, thanks for watching. And don't forget to watch Sunday's video. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be one of my favourite videos I've ever shared. I'm just telling you it's going to be a good one. So do subscribe and I will see you on Sunday for a very, very good video.